Okay, here's part two of this video, and uh, we're actually going to be looking at the shoes themselves. And what we have here are two pair of what are called uh, Nike free footwear. Nike free is what, are, to the best of my knowledge, it's like their healthy footwear that they have. And you'll notice, you know, it's got a very sort of flexible sole, um, especially like this model. You can see um, this one, it, it flexes very well. You know kind of this way and this way and you know when i first started wearing these i i had to be careful because i injured my foot people didn't tell me i needed to be careful because i did you know and there's a lot of flexibility in these shoes and i'm going to give nike credit with coming out with uh, you know at least trying to come out with some healthy footwear and building the flexibility almost like barefoot into the shoe and then i'm going to compare my nike's healthy footwear to what I wear now, the Vivo Barefoot. And, you know, I want to talk about flex, you know, these things, you talk about flexible, where well, these are flexible shoes. And, uh, you know, not, it's not even close. There's, so you, there's, no, there's a big difference between the flexibility of the Nike footwear and the Vivo Barefoot footwear. Big difference. Um, you notice it when you wear them on your feet, for sure. And the other big, well, there's a couple other differences. Uh, the other one, is the toe box and you'll notice here on these how my toe is busting through happens to almost every pair of footwear i own you can't i didn't wear these as much but actually you can see it over here on the right side my toes busting through and i always you know my friends will tell you my toe always busts through right here you see here on both these shoes here it's starting on the on the left side as well this one's a little bit more pronounced and it also pinches in it pinches in not only the big toe, but the little toe scrunches all your toes together, basically, as, as you're wearing it, basically, is what happens. So, uh, big difference in flexibility, big difference in the toe box here with the Vivos. My toes actually spread out as they're supposed to. You know, I can get a good wide spread as I'm walking and running in these, whereas in these shoes here, I cannot. And then the other big difference I want to talk about is... Uh, the height of the heel and this is probably the big one right here honestly this is my huge problem i have with nike footwear right here that lift you know you'll notice here in the back side we've got about an inch over here in the front side we've got about you know quarter half of that so you know there's at least at least a half inch lift in the back minimum maybe more and you can also see it here on this model the lift from the back to the front it's you know the foot the foot is higher in the back than it is in the front and there's a real there's a lot more cushion in the back than there is in the front that's something else you know if you notice look at the Vivo barefoot shoes there's no lift in the back they're flat you know there's no it's all flat there's no and there's no arch support let's look here at the arch support in these Nike free shoes Get a little sunshine in there so we can see it but uh maybe it's a little hard to see but we've definitely got some arch support going on here in the nike free shoe certainly some arch support and we don't have any sort of arch support here in the vivos it's just honestly it's just like almost like walking barefoot except for the rubber on the bottom which provides a little bit of cushion and we've got a little cork inside there which gives us a little bit of cushion too for when we're walking on hard surfaces, which happens a lot. Um, today is kind of nice to be out walking barefoot. So that's my comparison of Nike footwear. That's the big issues I have with Nike footwear and that they really cause a lot of health issues, not just with our feet, but with our whole bodies. And it's a big friggin' deal. Peace out.